to be honest, I don't think I've ever really did a video centered around this. So, please try and bear with me through this. Coming up, we are approaching the 20th anniversary of the September 11th tragedy. Like most, well, not everyone, but upon waking up in the morning, I had heard that something had happened with the World Trade Center in New York. I turn on my TV for the usual morning, usually the Today Show on NBC, but they were reporting the incident of the first World Trade Center being hit and lots of smoke and fire coming from it. Then the second plane into the second tower. Th this was indeed tragic. Uh, it, it was an attack. I don't know why or how I needed to run over to the local library to either return something or pick something up, I just don't remember. When I arrived there, they also had televisions viewing the tragedy that was going on in New York City. And at one point, even having President Bush talking. Once I had returned back home, the both towers were still standing, both smoking and on fire. And then... One tower fell, then the other. This this was horrifying to watch, and just odd, odd. And it was just straight up odd to view it, because this isn't something you'd normally see in real life at the time. This is just something that you think would possibly happen in a, in a movie or, or written fiction or something like that but for those there in New York City experiencing this in person whether it was the firefighters the officers the ones as trying to escape the, the Twin Towers it was a pure nightmare now everyone knows that there was also other incidents that happened like the Pentagon and on the field with the United 93. But my main focus has always been what happened in New York. Now, I'm not taking away what happened over there in the other places, but overall, we lost a shit ton. Thousands upon thousands of people. And that's one thing I've focused on the most about 9-11, September 11th, 2001 is all those lives we lost, all those fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, not some stupid conspiracy theory, not some stuff about insurance being taken out on the World Trade Center. No, no, the people, the lives that we lost that day. I think that's one thing people should be focusing about, is those lost on this day. What I didn't see or know until later, well, days to years later, was the kindness, the heroism, and truly united everyone was during and after we are the United States of America. And on this event, and days afterward, we were united. Pardon me wishes we could have always stayed that united. Brothers in arms, sisters in arms. Now I know due to the events of September 11th, a lot of media, a lot of stuff in the media got um, screwed up. The, the, the first of all, which came up, was the World Wrestling Entertainment Federation at the time. It was like days after, they were like, we need to get back to work. We need to create an escape for these people to escape the reality and just watch a show. And that's one thing they did. They continued on. And we know of the cartoons, well, cartoon movies, and actual live-action movies themselves who had to change things due to the, the events of September 11th. 
And what was a real pain in the ass was movies that have been out for so many, so many years, yet they had to edit out the World Trade Center for some stupid, stupid reason. And yes, I'm mostly talking about Home Alone 2. Now, as far as I know, at some point they did throw that back in on more recent releases onto Blu-ray DVD, but the fact that they actually had them deleted is just utter bullshit. Afterwards, and kind of still today, I collect the documentary physical releases that they have of the events of September 11th. There were many that were made by the History Channel, National Geographic. I mean, hell, National Geographic did one just recently. If I remember this right, it's One Day in America. And it's like a six-part series that covers the full day. Now, as of me recording this, I've only gone through two episodes of it. And knowing me, I'll probably keep an eye on if and when it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray and try and get it. The events of 9-11 have impacted the world, the United States, everyone. From those that were involved in it, from those survivors, to those that were watching it live on TV. The fact that it's been 20 years, and to some people, a whole generation since the attacks, the one thing people should know and focus on, besides from the tragedy, was the kindness. Those helping others, even in the aftermath of trying to find survivors. And, and some people say it's, it's kind of cliche how they did it in the Spider-Man movie. But then again, Spider-Man is based out of New York. So, yeah, it's going to be cliche. I know if I ever do get around to visiting New York City, one of a handful of places I would like to visit is the Ground Zero. And to give my respects... The World Trade Center, the two towers, was a magnificent set of buildings. I, I remember them, I think it was Alan Jackson who had the song, Where Where Were You When the World Stopped Turning? I shared my answer. So here's a question to you, the viewers, the listeners. Where were you when this happened? And... How did it affect you?